kids aren't cookie cutters. They're not all the same. So I think it's important that we meet the needs of students in every area. A largely inclusive classroom in which everyone is treated with possibility and respect um, is an ethical matter. Differentiation really helps teachers have the tools and the understanding, especially when coupled with what we're learning about brain science, to be able to do something about that. This course addresses several problems. It addresses the recognition that one size fits all doesn't work. There are several key findings um, that have come from the neuroscience research that I think have applications uh, for educators. Neuroscience does support a learner-focused, learner-friendly classroom. Differentiation exists for that reason as well. So understanding the brain helps us understand differentiation better. It also gives us um, more grounding and support for what we do. In this course, Dr. Carol Ann Tomlinson, the leading expert on differentiated instruction, teams up with renowned educational neuroscientist, Dr. David Sousa, to provide teachers with a model for setting up a differentiated and brain-friendly classroom, and to present the scientific research behind why these strategies are effective and necessary. It's important to get really down and dirty in terms of a very simple definition of what teaching is. It's the only profession whose job it is to change the human brain every day. That's what we do. That's what we do. Educators taking this course will learn the major components of a brain-friendly quality curriculum. Why do you suppose I would give you such a thing to look at at the beginning of our lesson? Good curriculum helps students understand what the subject means. They get how it works. They see a purpose for it. How to create a learning environment that is most conducive to differentiated instruction. I think that when they walk in, it should feel inviting, it should feel welcome. So I like to have their work up when they see their own work displayed. It builds their confidence. Before any learning can take place, the students have to feel emotionally safe. So first we want to provide an environment where everybody feels successful. The reality is, when a kid walks into your classroom, how they feel about that classroom is much more important at that moment than what they think about it. The importance of teacher and student mindset and how they affect student achievement. What does it take from a teacher to look at a kid who looks like nothing and see promise? And what does it take from a teacher to look at a kid who's making straight A's and say that's not good enough because you're not working? Teachers are very important when trying to learn something. Getting encouragement from your teachers, like they're telling me I'm smart, I know I can do it, makes me feel better about doing it. When somebody's there to encourage you, it makes things easier. Educators will also learn how to determine student readiness, interest, and learning profile to inform their instructional and assessment design. Everybody's got their information sheets. You ready to go exploring? Yes. Okay, here we go. This course will also instruct educators in effective practices for assessing student achievement to inform instruction and for successfully leading and managing the differentiated classroom. Now what I'm gonna do is give each of you an individual rubric. This one deals with your job. We're all seeing each other's work, which is helping us kind of get the mental picture. We all like share the information that we got with each other so that we all get a little bit of something out of it. Differentiation allows for the differences in students. They're not all getting the same thing, but they're getting what they need. I think the course is beneficial because there's, um, there's a balance of kind of both, both aspects. You have the brain research and the actual practical applications of the differentiation model. Because one of the things we know is that the brain that does the work is the brain that learns. And the neat thing about these brain compatible strategies is it shifts the burden of work to the learner's brain. It's really the first time in history that we've been able to understand how the mechanism that we're trying to um, cause to learn actually works. So the more that we can bring to educators to help them understand this new research, the more likely they are to be successful and find ways in which they can incorporate it into their practice.